unfortunately, the dysfunction has grown to the point where it can't be hidden anymore. Uh, in fact, it's celebrated. Yeah. It, it's just, I mean, this is in the news, I guess, at Daily Star UK. They're kind of a tabloid rag, yeah. but it's being published as if it's news. Yeah, well, there's a, uh, you, I mean, you've heard, you've heard of Prager, right? Of course. Well, I was listening to him a couple days ago, and he made a really good comment. <clears throat> All right, say you have a pot of dirt. Yeah. And then you decide you want to grow flowers in that dirt. And you go through all the hard work and all of the pruning, and all of a sudden, there's the flowers. And then you cut the flowers off to give them to somebody. Well, those flowers have now been removed from the soil, and they're going to wither and die in one to five days. All right. That's the why soil, flowers are a stupid gift. Well, the soil he is actually referring to in this case is a lot of the morals and ethics that come from religion are the soil. Yeah. And now we're, you know, several generations away from us as a race, you know, basically visiting the well to get our nutrients. Yep. And now we're seeing it in living color, quite literally. Yep. <laughs> All of this craziness that's now Sodom and Gomorrah eyes this world. Now, now listen, I, I never thought I was going to be that guy when I was like a teenager. When I was your you know, age. I was like, Sodom and Gomorrah, the world's not that bad. What you talking about? <laughs> well, yeah, here I am now in my 50s going, dude, I'm expecting yeah. quadruple lightning bolts any goddamn second here. Yeah. I mean, when our own AG wants a drag queen in every school. Yep. And that is not hyperbole. This this Dana Nessel person needs to be drawn and quartered over this shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. That we have entered Sodom and Gomorrah territory. Yeah, I mean, when it's stunning and brave. I mean, it's illegal to take your children to yeah. to a shake it club, but apparently it's stunning and brave to take that same strip club and bring it to your kids. Yeah, I mean that is <laughs> wow. <laughs> Six of one, half dozen of another. <laughs> one's a one's a felony, and the other is stunning and brave. Yep. Get and the fuck out of here. And either way you slice it, it's <laughs> it's bad news, bears. This is why we drink, ladies and germs. <sighs> fuck you. Yeah. Mm. We'll, we'll do this first, so oh. you can okay Ooh. relax your brain. That's like, that's like micro thin. You can yeah. actually see flesh through that. Yeah. To take it in a bit. No okay. pun intended. Mm -hmm. Okay. What? Have uh, you ever heard of Postmates? Uh, what? what? They're like a food delivery place, kind of like Uber Eats or whatever. Menu. What? Eat with pride. Ah! Po Postmates unveils bottom friendly menu for confused poles and holes month. What? what? Yes. No. Yes. And well, they got uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. They got a licensed proctologist to team up with them in order to create this menu. So what you want? You want these people to eat stuff that they know they're going to get uh, their equipment used in ways it's not designed for? Yeah, that they don't want to get any extra mud on their helmets, on I their guess. Pogo sticks? Yeah. <laughs> the throbbing meat rockets? <laughs> they don't want to get poop on those? So it includes soluble food suggestions to prevent those participating in certain activities from making a mess of your evening. Partner restaurants from New York City and Los Angeles, of course, were also mentioned in the announcement. You shouldn't miss a good meal for a good time. What? And they got a whole tweet on here. <clears throat> can we? Sh can you show the video? They're getting ratioed to high heaven for this shit. Uh, uh, what are we gonna are get you a eating train? this pride? Well, if you're a top, it seems like you can eat whatever you want. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, wow. but if you're a Why is the eggplant dressed like it belongs in the Blue Oyster Club from Police Academy? I don't know. I don't know. Bottom, you're expected to start. Da, 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 da. Not this pride. Introducing the bottom-friendly <laughs> menu from Postmates. Oh, oh God. We teamed up with Dr. Evan Goldstein from Bespoke Surgical to bring you a menu of oh. bottom-friendly foods backed by science. This is so backed by science. Fiber. You know what else is backed by science? Anal prolapses. Yeah, quite literally. Anal fissures, anal rips. Uh, yeah, uh, infected anus. I get. <laughs> <laughs> Can 
get it out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, not, I don't want to get a copy restraint for showing this. Okay, so this proctologist, who apparently is a confused pole and hole himself, teamed up to create the menu. Okay. Uh, it's, oh, God. But the thing is, <laughs> by, by the time it gets to the lower <laughs> exit, it's been in your body for two to three days at a minimum. Yeah. Well, let's check this out. The video includes stop motion video, yada, yada. It goes on to suggest that some participants should avoid legumes whole grains, dairy, and other insoluble foods for at least 24 hours before activity. So so the whole grains are too scratchy? So we have to avoid things that might actually clean yourself out. So I guess somebody's idea of a good time is to, you know, ramrod like a, a styrofoam block of impacted, like, Poo. Why you gotta? <laughs> why do this? Why you gotta create these like images in my Blank head? Blank it off on top like crushed red God pepper. Damn, stop! <laughs> Just, uh, uh, Whole grains. Stop! <laughs> God damn! Why? Why is this necessary? And why did they have to get a proctologist to help? Oh, he's an a oh god. Anal surgery practice that he founded, I guess, uh -huh. is bespoke surgery. Well, you've got to have a doctor if you where want to the make majority it. of patients are confused poles and holes. Yeah, listen, you got. Ugh. Now, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> There's a lot of people out there who are nutritionists who have a lot more clout and know what they're talking about than some doctor who operates on uh, anuses that have been used poorly throughout their uh, life cycle yeah i really wish i could show that clip from zach and miri uh, you know when she's talking to him you know, about doing the anal scene and she's like anal is great for when you're constipated it really loosens you up i like x lax but okay <laughs> and then of course they're doing the thing the cameraman's down below and all of a sudden you just hear him pop out like a champagne cork and they go <laughs> all over his face that's terrible. Can you believe this shit? Can you believe this shit? <laughs> that bitch frosted me like I was a fucking cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, my God. It just it cracks me up because Bespoke Surgical is based on the foundation of sexual wellness and its associated pillars, prevention, restoration, and reconstruction. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. All right, hang on. Uh, restoration Preve and Preve reconstruction. Prevention, I understand. Restoration and reconstruction. How is that a foundation of sexual wellness? Unless you're talking about people who have All right. beaten their equipment within an no, inch of its no, hang life. On, hang on. All right. This actually happened. Okay. A dude was squatting somewhere between five and 600 pounds. Comes down. On his way back up, his whole colon shoots out of his a-hole. That is a legitimate reason to have to go to a doctor like this to get some <laughs> restoration surgery. Okay? I mean, listen, bad shit happens. Okay? But the thing is, if you're using it against its design specifications... You can almost guarantee with enough time yeah. you're going to get a bad outcome. That sounds like, you know, a partially defective model, you know, getting pushed beyond its limits and exploding on rear impact, so to speak. This is regular abuse. On a regular basis. Of, of things that... <laughs> shouldn't be abused. Yeah, you know, they're not designed to do the things that are being done here. And, and what's hilarious is that they chose this specifically for this month yeah i know as if you know there aren't straight <laughs> couples out there who enjoy a good alcohol related incident available upon request i'm not one of course no, neither am i but that's not my thing but i should say you know Ooh. things happen yeah yeah i got gotcha. you watch grunt speak live every tuesday and thursday at 8 p.m eastern and if you'd like to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, consider making a donation on Locals, Patreon, or Subscribestar.